Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Saints Podcast here on the campus of Missouri County Community College. Always happy to be bringing you more content to viewers and subscribers, getting a little more in-depth into some of the programs, events, and activities we have going on on campus with uh, the people that are doing the work. And there's nobody doing harder work uh, here, uh, especially this year, wow, than our ag department. Guys, what's going on today? How's it going? It's going pretty good. Going pretty good. Um, so if you guys just want to kind of uh, introduce yourselves, uh, tell us a little bit about yourselves and, and what you do here. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Ashlyn, you first. All right. I'm Ashlyn. Oh. I am a agriculture major. I'm a freshman this year, just, you know, getting towards the end of it all. I'm originally from Arizona, and I'm a member of our livestock judging team as well as our Collegiate Farm Bureau and our Block and Bridal program. And then I'm Will Milishowski. I am one of the two ag instructors here, one of our three ag faculty. Um, you know, I've <laughs> been here since, oh, I, I was hired last July. So it's kind of been a whirlwind of about, mm, I guess, about nine months now. Uh, so it's me and my wife out there in the ag department. I coach the livestock judging team, teach class, recruit my butt off, and keep going. Yeah, and you, yeah, you came in uh, over the summer, and you guys were were out here just kind of getting everything working, and just uh, everything that you guys have done. I mean, do you have like a list of, of all the stuff that you guys have done throughout this year? I mean, it's been it's been crazy, dude. It really has the progress that you guys have made out there. You, you know, it was kind of funny going through the the list. Uh, I guess went through a list of like all the recruiting events that we did here just in the past oh couple months. Um, when they sent out that email, the like campus-wide email, just asking, like, faculty, like, oh, how, how involved have you been? And Rachel sent back a list that she goes, I'm sorry, this is going to feel like two pages. And she just sent it all over to me, and I added in all the extra stuff I did. And, yeah, it, it's extensive, Yeah, the amount of stuff we've done. <laughs> Excellent. And, Ashlyn, you are – you're a new recruit here. You're a freshman this year, right? Yes, correct. Yeah, and you're, you're from Arizona. Yes, he, dro- he brought me with him when he came out here, so <laughs> – you know, obviously he's pretty good at his job. He recruits <laughs> darn well. <laughs> Brought me all out here in July. So yeah. yeah, yeah, excellent. So how you how you been liking it here in Liberal, Kansas? I mean, like like where were you from in Arizona first, and then you know, how, how are you liking it out here in Liberal? All right, so I'm from the Valley, which is what which is basically like um, about an hour outside of Phoenix. So definitely very different, um, very mountainous. I lived right on the base of a mountain. <laughs> um, now obviously there, it's quite flat but i'm loving it out here um just i've gotten so many amazing opportunities met so many great people um the my, my education is just amazing i've gotten like so many hands-on opportunities um attending school here um so i i've just loved it i mean obviously it was a big uh, culture shock for me personally but you know, there's no there's no better way to experience the world than to go out and live in it. So yeah, there yeah. you go. And I, I got a question. So how do our dust storms compare to Arizona dust storms? Ooh, okay. So for <laughs> us, our dust storms typically have a season, and that's our monsoon season. So it's in the dead of summer. Um, it's a lot more windy out here. Our dust storms, it's actually not that windy. It's like a regular day out here in Kansas, just very dusty. Um, I have still not gotten used to just like the heavy winds like the ones yeah. we had yesterday gosh um so they're definitely a lot more current um out here but yeah nothing you can't handle yeah yeah and one piece of advice that i would give you and get some flonase some zyrtec something oh yeah i, have, I had to start <laughs> taking the allergy medicine when i moved out here so yeah for sure all right that, that sounds great and you know of course you know, we're we're having heavy on campus it's it's always great when we have uh, you know especially um our high achieving our motivated students and i know uh, ashlyn's been helping you out a lot this year right will oh yeah yeah we we work her like a dog i won't lie <laughs> i mean <laughs> we take her to just about everything uh you know we came straight here from doing radio we took her to do that um we've got her doing radio again next week we've got her doing the leader in times next week we've if there is a recruiting event or something of that nature that i need a student to go to she's usually first on the list there <laughs> we go yep up on the dock i mean up. i can't complain i i literally loiter in the ag department they can't get me out of there so <laughs> I, I do not complain at all being able to come right. and join in if you're gonna be hanging out they might as well put you to work <clears throat> right. i mean yeah, yeah it right. keeps me busy it keeps me out of trouble i guess there we go boots on the ground that's what's up yeah. all right uh, so i know that you guys uh, kind of cover just a, a little bit about the ag department just kind of in, in general real quick um you guys uh, cover you know crop production uh, animal and livestock production 
uh, get into crops judging as well, um, and just kind of any, anything else that I'm missing. I know there's there's a lot more that go, that goes into it. Yeah, I mean, like like I kind of said the other day, I was, I was at a meeting and they you know just kind of asked for a quick rundown. And I said, you know, we we've kind of moved away from trying to do like an absolute like specialty. Um, you know, we're not just strictly focused on greenhouse production or or you know plant science or anything like that. Um, we've kind of moved back to being just a little bit more of a general type program and just trying to really emphasize what the community is about and so you know as I kind of joked the other day we're kind of backhandedly sustainable Um, you know we have the soybean fields that we raise the soybeans in Uh, we put those in our own grain elevator program Um, so we handle them all here on site we utilize those soybeans in our biodiesel program which we make biodiesel for the CDL program and then we take the waste from the biodiesel program and we feed it to our goats. We have livestock on campus now, the goats love it. And then we turn around and manure from the goats goes back out on the fields. It just kind of is a nice little green, sustainable little circle. Yeah, yeah, it really is. And I mean, that's, uh, of course, obviously the trend in, in farming is, you know, and we've always heard reduce, reuse, recycle. So, I mean, it's just good practice, yeah. you know, yeah. So whenever you said we have goats on campus, you said the goats really like it. Did you mean to say the kids really like it? Or was that kind of a double entendre that you mentioned? Uh, no, no, no. Here? Well, I mean, both. The, the kids like the goats and the goats and the goats like the soybeans. I mean, it, it just kind of works out perfectly. You know, yeah. one thing with us having a livestock judging team now and kind of pushing a little harder for animal agriculture, especially just in the area we're in, you know, we're our largest employer in town is national beef. Like right. we are an animal agricultural county um, to where that makes a lot of sense to have something that's ruminant. You know, they're not we can't really house a whole lot of cows here at the school, but we can we can have a handful of goats, and so we we opted to have some of those running around, and they're an awesome learning tool. We've already used them several times in class, so we're going to use them extensively next year in class, um, and they just they're so handy and they're so fun to kind of be around. You know, the kids really enjoy it. And it just really fits with what we're trying to do here. Yeah, yeah. I mean, of course, beef and pork, as far as I can see out here, yeah, you know, yeah for the most part. And, and goats are pretty tasty, too. I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I haven't, had the, haven't had the chance to try them before. So. Yeah, I haven't had goat before. No, I, we, I, neither have I, actually. Yeah, I, I'm yeah. waiting for the opportunity. I'm waiting for the invite to the barbecue. <laughs> yeah, and, and if uh, a goat, because I've done a goat uh, a couple of times before, usually like a rack, you know, you just yeah. do the, do the, do, do the back rack. And, uh um, either grill it or usually do it like a Greek style kind of, mm. you know, like maybe that's our uh, the, next yeah. lunch in a there meat science. Go. Yeah, we do meat science. We had lamb burgers last week. There we go. We're gonna have some goat kebabs or something. <laughs> yeah, some goat goat heroes or donar or something. I'm down. I'll help. We'll invite okay. you if, if we sure. ever. Okay. Okay. We'll have you cook. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so you guys have uh, just a ton of stuff coming up here uh, in the ag department. I know w- with as busy as you guys have been all year, it seems like here in this next couple of weeks or so, you guys are just going to be 100 miles an hour through the end of the year through into June. So let's talk about Ag Week at SCCC. Well, you know, as I've been making the joke here recently, uh, before Ag Week comes stress month, <laughs> uh, you know, it, it, it's been very stressful trying to make sure we get everything lined up, get everything set and going and, and everything uh, to come together and have that plan really work out. Um, and so we've got a lot of events coming up. I think they're going to be a lot of fun, but I'd be, you know, I'd be remiss if I didn't say that it was stressful leading up to it. Yeah, yeah, it's always uh, uh, setting that stuff up, uh, that, the coordination and all that stuff that goes yeah. into and laying the you know the foundation and and, and procedures and, and and policies and all that stuff. That's you know tough. It's one of the toughest parts of the job for yep. sure. Uh, so uh, what, on the online donation auction is like the first thing that kind of kicks it off. It's yep. Friday, April fourteenth. Yep. So what, what does that look like? The online donation auction. So the online donation auction. Uh, so we call it scholarships for saints. Um, <clears throat> there's a lot of community colleges, um, especially ag departments that host these nowadays. Um, and it's just an extra way for us to raise some extra scholarship money. So we've kind of been out in the community, uh, a lot of cold calls the past couple of weeks to, to folks just saying, Hey, would you be interested in, in donating something? Um, and we, we've probably got somewhere in the neighborhood of about five to $6,000 worth of items nice. uh, donated. Yeah. Um, and so those will run through an online auction through SC online sales. Um, here this next Friday. We're actually inputting all the stuff into spreadsheets today. Um, hopefully get that uploaded and the list up there by the end of the week. So people can kind of peruse through there for, for a week and kind of see what, what's coming down the pipe. And 
hopefully, you know, find something that they're interested in. Hopefully they get a decent value. I'd be remiss if I didn't say that it brings full value, but, uh, yeah. you know, it doesn't always. So, you know, there's usually some good deals in there as well. Um, but it should be a lot of really fun stuff. There's some grills. There's some genetic opportunities if you're interested from the livestock portion of things. Um, some gift certificates. I think there's like a night out, like at the movies. Um, just a lot of different things. Very nice. Very nice. And what was the website again they can check it out? SC Online Sales. SC Online Sales. Yep. And that opens up next Friday. Yep. Next Friday. Sweet. And then like the day after that, you guys are hosting a farmer's market. Right back to it. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> right back at This it. one, the sale is in person, though, not online. Okay. Yeah. The farmer's market is in person. Yep. That'd be weird, an online farmer's market. It'd be interesting. It's yeah. like it would. You know, you'd hope your strawberries get there before they went bad. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so that'll be taking place in our ag parking lot. Um, it's going to be a pretty nice little little deal. So we've got some plants going in the greenhouse. Um, provided the greenhouse does, we, we keep the greenhouse at the right temp here. Um, we're still we're still getting those things figured out. Still getting some work done on those. But for the most part, you know, we've, we'll have some starter plants available. Um, the goal was to hopefully have some cut flowers. The flowers are a little bit behind, so we're probably going to. Probably just going to offer you some flowers that you can just take home and plant, and they should be ready to bloom in hopefully about the next month. Yeah. Um, but, you know, you can get them, get them repotted, get them going there at home. Um, there will be some hanging baskets. We've also invited out um, not just members of the community, but also um, <clears throat> some local schools and some FFAs and seeing if they have, you know, if there's, somebody, if there's a local FFA member who for their project does – you know, chickens and, and raises eggs, then come out and sell eggs there at the farmer's market, you know, just trying to open that up to as many people as, as possible and try and give some of those kids who maybe don't always get that opportunity a chance to come out and have that opportunity. Excellent. Yeah, very nice. And then, um, so, like, and then the following week, it's all about Ag Day, you know. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, when you, so you guys go Friday auction opens, Saturday farmer's market, and then Monday all about Ag Day. What is, what, what is all about Ag Day? Ashton, you want to take that one? Yeah. So it's going to be taking place here on campus at our student union. And it's basically basically just an opportunity to, you know, spread more knowledge about agriculture because a lot of people just see it as farming or as, you know, livestock. And it really is more than that. It's a lifestyle. It's about stewardship of the you know, environment, of the world. So we always want to spread that knowledge and also, you know, make ourselves more visible on campus because a lot of people don't even know that we exist in our building off to the side of campus. So we just want to make sure students know we're there as well as just um, to – provide the opportunity for kids of all ages to learn some more about agriculture we're going to have our goats our sheep um is albert going to come to our donkey? i think albert's going to come albert up um so we're going to have a kind of a petting zoo so they get to see our animals and you know get the opportunity to experience that as well nice you guys should uh pray the goats around the circle <laughs> uh that, that's kind of the plan so we've we've been taking the the livestock out a little bit um as the animal science lab uh, kind of gets going like we've been teaching those kids how to halter and how to lead animals and, and how to work with them so uh, what was it I think it was last Tuesday we took the sheep up for a walk up to main campus we walked <laughs> yeah. all the way through the middle of campus and all the way back to the ag building <laughs> we nice. got some looks but yeah, oh well, yeah but yeah there's some people like oh um, <laughs> there's there's livestock out here but... <laughs> no. uh, at least they knew you were there though <clears throat> yeah right? exactly yeah. Yeah, and then uh, coming up that week, I mean, there's the, the Agriculture Innovation Conversation. Uh, that's on Tuesday. Tailgating the women's softball game on Wednesday. Uh, Lady Saints are playing at noon. Yeah, it's so at noon, noon or 1, one o'clock. o'clock. And I, they I have a second I, game at, I think, I believe, 3. Yeah, so. it's, I, I think they'll start at 1, and you guys are starting the tailgate at noon, yes. though, right? Yes. 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 Yeah, out there at the softball field, the yep. French family field. Excellent. Mm-hmm. Uh, Barnyard Olympics sounds interesting. How do I sign up for that? So, <laughs> yes, um, I'm the vice president of our Collegiate Farm Bureau, which is putting on that event. It's going to be really fun, um, just an opportunity to get out there, have some fun with, um, a team, with a team. I believe it is of four people, um, and you'll sign up, I'm pretty sure, through a link that we will put out here soon. Yep. Um, and it's just going to it's gonna cost $20 to enter for a team of four, and we're just going to do some different interesting things to be for sure we're gonna have a hay bale toss and then my favorite one which is um wheelbarrow roping so basically it's gonna be one person pushing a wheelbarrow another one riding in it and you're gonna be roping a dummy just like you would off a horse but in a wheelbarrow so that's gonna be a little interesting to see how that goes as well as a round bale push um just a lot of just different fun games and then we'll have some prizes at the end of it all um so yeah Okay, maybe I don't want to sign up for that. Oh, come what? on. <laughs> you know, come that on. sounds like fun. If I could sign up for it, it, I would. It sounds like fun, but it also sounds like I am uncoordinated and would hurt myself. 
So I know what I'm about. A, a little bit yeah. of athleticism would help with it. I won't <laughs> lie. But even if you aren't, it's still going to be a fun time. You know, you get to laugh with your friends about how you can't throw, throw a bail that high. I mean, I definitely can't throw a bail that high, but I'd still give it a shot. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know me. I'm, I'm what you call indoorsy. Yeah. So yeah. there it we happens. go. <laughs> then we still have, I mean, closing out the week, the Youth Livestock Judging Contest and Auction, and the Celebrity Livestock Judging Contest. Uh, those are coming up Friday and Saturday for Ag Week. Uh, what celebrities do you have? So we've got, uh, we don't have our panel finalized, but so as far as celebrities go, um, I know like I have Trevor Winchester, um, who's going to be doing it. Um, obviously, Trevor's a former judging team member, uh, still really heavily involved in the community, um, you know, on the foundation board and things of that nature. Um, and so uh, he's one of our celebrities, as well as Blake Williams, who's a, who's a former judging team member, um, still fairly local, lives up there around Cimarron. Uh, Ashley Harrison, who used to be one on our ag advisory board and is now a ag teacher down there at Beaver, um, as well as some that are a little bit further out. Um, I've got one who coming who is an extension agent. Uh, he used to be a collegiate livestock judging coach. Now he's an extension agent here in Kansas. Um, one of my buddies, and he's just coming having a good time. Um, and then I've also got two buddies coming from back home. Uh, one of one who raises cattle with me, the other one also raises cattle with me, but he was also herdsman of the year for our breed um, last uh, two years ago now. So uh, some people who really have a clue about livestock judging. So if you don't have a clue, that's totally fine. These these guys can kind of help carry the team yeah. a bit. Yeah, so they're coming up from Arizona? <clears throat> uh, no, from Illinois. They're coming from Illinois. Oh, I've got know. two buddies coming from Illinois. I've got one coming from here in Kansas. Uh, I I think I might have somebody coming from Texas for me. Yeah. Uh, another one from Oklahoma. So we've we've got a variety of folks coming. Man, yeah. And that's, uh, like I said, S- SEC Ag Week is running April 14th uh, through the 22nd. Online auction opens up uh, Friday, April 14th. Uh, and then the Farmer's Market, All About Ag Day, Innovation, Tailgating, Barnyard Olympics, Judging Contests, Celebrity Livestock Judging. I can only imagine <laughs> how difficult all that was to coordinate. Yeah, I, 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 let's put it this way. I've put a lot of uh, a lot of effort into the judging contest, especially. That's kind of my baby. Um, you know, we were just at a judging contest the other day that I have a lot of respect for. Um, you know, it's put on by my old junior college roommate, and me and Kane get along great. Um, and I've been to that contest multiple times, and, and Hutch always sen- team seems to put on a really good contest. Um, and I know how difficult that can be. He called 72 different people. And he only had 15 say yes as far as being officials. And so I feel very fortunate that we've got the people that we have now. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Especially this time of year. I can only imagine everybody's just crazy busy this time oh, yeah. of year. Yeah. Yeah. And then you guys also have some stuff coming up this summer. Um, so as a college, you know, most of the students go home in May. You know, but we still have events, activities, all kinds of stuff going on throughout the summer. And it looks like you guys have um, some livestock judging camps coming up, speaking of which. So uh, can you tell us a little bit about those and and, and, and what what do you guys do there? Yeah, so we're putting on a three-day camp um, here from June 9th through the 11th. um, And... We're, we're doing a little bit different than a lot of other colleges. Um, a lot of other colleges would typically have, you know, their coach and the livestock judging team kind of put on that camp, you know, typically looking at somewhere between somewhere between 50 to 100 kids usually coming to a lot of those camps. Um, but we're a little different. I'm one man. I have two freshmen on my team. I don't think we could handle 30 kids by ourselves. I know for sure we couldn't handle 100 kids by ourselves. Um, so I went with a little different format, um, and I've been rounding up clinicians all all spring as we go to different contests. Um, I haven't been asking other junior college coaches because I'm kind of selfish as far as recruiting goes. Right. But I have been asking other senior college coaches, you know, contacts that I have and, and know if, hey, would you be willing to come help out with this? And so I know we have several coming um, that are senior college coaches, you know, their experience, they have – the know-how and everything else, and we're going to have them out um, for this three-day camp to help work through different species, work through reasons with kids, everything else. It's going to give them an opportunity to meet, you know, recruits that we're bringing in, but also give them an opportunity to kind of start, you know, getting their own recruiting field out here as well and giving more Southwest Kansas, you know, Panhandle, Oklahoma, Panhandle, Texas kids opportunities to go, you know, 
out and kind of experience the world as far as school goes, mm -hmm. and then hopefully, you know, give them that education that they need, bring them back here. Yeah, and I know that's one thing that we, that just here in, in general at Seward County, that's one thing that we're pretty good about is that two to four year uh, connection. So make sure that those guys, whenever they graduate here at Seward County, that we can hook them up with um, how they can further themselves. Yep. You know, whether it's going on to finish their bachelor's or industry connections or, or something like that. I know that's something that we that we really pride ourselves on around this place. So, um, Will, I think uh, that's uh Kind of coming up here on the close, is there anything else that we need to talk about that we haven't mentioned today? Um, not that I can can really think of. You know, just uh, if you know if anybody's interested in the ag department, we're kind of we're kind of an open book. Anytime I ever do a speaking engagement or we have some other type of thing, I always tell people, you know, they're more than welcome to come out, check it out, see see how things are are going. You know, usually somebody's around. We're always more than willing to kind of show off our facility, everything else. You know, we're we're constantly trying to improve and get that community buy-in. And so I think that one of the most important things is people just knowing that, you know, we're out there. Like she kind of said, we're kind of in no man's land. We're, we're not on main campus. We're not on the tech campus. We're just kind of right in the middle. And we kind of, it's nice because we kind of have our own free reign and can do what we want. But at the same time, you know, when you get an interview for the school paper and the young lady doesn't know where the ag building is, it, you know, you, you realize, well, okay, we need to do a better job of this. So, yeah. you know, we implore anybody who's interested, stop on in. You know, we're, we're usually pretty, I say most people would say we're pretty friendly um, and, and we're always willing to talk up the program and, and discuss, you know, options. Excellent. Ashley, do you have anything you want to say before we kind of get at it, wrap it up here? Um, not really. I just would say that like he was saying, do come out to the ag department. You could see, even if you aren't necessarily interested in ag, you can come see the goats and you know, hang out with the donkey. Um, it's just really interesting. There's a lot of really cool stuff that we go on, that we have going on out there. A lot of really unique opportunities for students in this area. Um, so yeah. Excellent, excellent. All right, guys, thank you so much for coming in this after this morning. I guess yeah. <laughs> um, so any other like events, activities, or, or anything like that? I'm sure you know we'll, we'll be in touch with you guys and and. I, I kind of bring some of that stuff up. And, I mean, other than that, uh, for more information, of course, I will put uh, contact information in the description of this video, how to get a hold of us, how to get a hold of Will, if you want to uh, come in and uh, participate in any of these events and activities, uh, uh, you'll be able to get a hold of them. Other than that, we'll catch you next time.